Knock Mouse Gun was made in 2019 by Daivua Technology. It is a wireless gun mouse, which just recreates the handle portion. Its standard features are the adjustable sensitivity and its use of Cherry MX clone keyboard switches for the two primary buttons. This mouse is terribly advertised, relying on blatantly false claims and conflicting information. In this review I will point out the actual properties of the Ragnarok and mention deviations to the documentation. Daewoo Technology says that the Ragnarok was the world's first gun mouse. Regular viewers of the channel will know that this isn't true. I have already covered four pistol mice before and put together a playlist. The Ragnarok belongs to the handle-only kind of mice, which are a bit stealthier and more socially acceptable than other gun mice. If one was to draw a spectrum of mice, between the two extreme poles of a vertical ergonomic mouse and a one-to-one -one pistol replica, the Ragnarok would be situated pretty close to the middle. Nowadays, Daewoo Technology claims that the Ragnarok's design was heavily inspired by the MRI Desert Eagle and shows it prominently in their ad materials. Shortly before that, however, Daewoo Technology made the same claim about the Beretta 92. In reality, the Ragnarok isn't emulating either of the two, and unfortunately is a bit blocky. Compared to its stated role models, it is far less convenient to hold. Because the foot of the Ragnarok is pretty thin for a mouse, the Ragnarok feels unusual to navigate, as it tips over and lifts up quite easily. The Ragnarok has two backsliding triggers, which rely on clicky Cherry MX style keyboard switches. The top one protrudes notably further out, which helps to differentiate the two into trigger and grip button. At first, when I saw the close proximity of the two switches, I was skeptical, but it works surprisingly well. Daewoo Technology claims to use genuine Cherry MX red switches on the website while showing photos of TTC L series red switches. Of course, it can't be either of the two, because both are linear switches and the mouse uses clicky ones. In my mind, this is a pretty blatant lie to make as it is debunked immediately by anybody who knows anything about keyboards. Personally, I would have preferred tactile switches in this application, and I found that the used switches bind quite noticeably during the upstroke, presumably due to the click jacket. Still, if I could choose between any clicky switch and the advertised linear ones, I'm glad I would have went with the former. At the back corner of the top is a Metal Maid mouse wheel. While this location might be sufficient for gaming, where the wheel is associated with swapping weapons, it is a terribly uncomfortable location for everyday office work and web browsing. The wheel is way too far back to be easily reached with a thumb. The player has either to resort to minuscule wheel strokes for navigation, or has to partially let go of the grip in order to reach the wheel better. If the wheel is pressed in at its bottom end, it acts as a scan resolution switch. In order to be able to reliably click the switch, the thumb has to travel very far back, which makes this operation cumbersome during normal gameplay or work, and typically involves lifting up the mouse. The properties of the mouse wheel, not even to speak of the absence of a middle click button, in my opinion, challenge the Ergo mouse use case tremendously. The resolution is toggled between preset values. What exact values those are is very hard to say, as the website claims two sets of sensitivity values, once ending at a maximum sensitivity of 3200 and once in 5000 dots per inch. To make matters worse, the Chinese manual cites another interval of values and says the maximum sensitivity was a mere 2400 dpi. The current English packaging and manual don't document the dpi switch functionality of the mouse wheel at all and if it wasn't for my research, I would have overlooked this feature completely. My particular mouse has four preset values, which is in conflict with my Chinese language manual. As such, I am confident to report that none of the preset resolution groups ever communicated by Daewoo Technology is true. Daewoo Technology's behavior on social media, online stores and its own website made the whole company look a bit suspicious. In preparation for an Indiegogo campaign, Daewoo Technology faked media courage and public attention with their own writers. In an absurd promotional YouTube video, Daewoo Technology is using material of Sharky's gaming controllers and Vectrex Rolly without permission. Those two channels were a big role model to my own channel and I hate to see them being exploited. 
The video proves to me how low the word technology's knowledge on gaming is and how far they are out of touch. The video refers to the 1994 Namco GunCon as the 2012 Sony Light Gun and fails to recognize the 2011 Razer Hydra, which it calls the 2019 PC Gun Controller. In the Indiegogo campaign video, the word technology makes it look like as if mouse lift off events were mappable to computer functions, which isn't the case. The Indiegogo campaign was suspended early on, just like their Twitter account. The word technology's website certificate ran out, which caused browsers to bring up warning messages. On Amazon, the word technology pretends that the Ragnarok was a Cyberpunk 2077 licensed mouse. The ratings and reviews there reflect quality issues. One of the users was able to film his mouse catching fire. The many conflicting claims about the Ragnarok awoke my distrust and so I decided to open it up to get the full picture. The used MX clones are content branded clicky blue switches. Content switches are usually found in bottom of the line mechanical keyboards and are very cheap. The battery is indeed rated with an 800mAh capacity, so this claim was accurate. Instead of the promised Pixot PMW3325 sensor, the Ragnarok relies on a Pixot PAW3212DB-TJDT. Why Daewoo Technology had to lie about this sensor is very puzzling to me, because it is in fact a very good sensor. It's not bleeding edge or anything, but still a very capable performer. This wrong sensor however widens the gap to the true specifications. Instead of a maximum resolution of 5000 dpi, it provides 2400 dpi, and instead of a 100 inch per second tracking speed, it just has 30 ips. Furthermore, the maximum acceleration is 10g rather than the promised 20g. In my mind, the mouse itself is okay. The lack of a middle button makes it unfeasible to me as a potential office and ergo mouse, while the wheel placement challenges the gaming application. I tested the Ragnarok with Counter-Strike Global Offensive and had fun doing so. The mouse tracks well and the button placement is good. The very narrow foot, which tends to partially lift off while playing, was irritating and so were the two mouse buttons, as sometimes the sliders were prone to binding, especially on the upstroke. In combination, those issues kept me from performing my best in the game. The earliest Ragnarok units I am aware of are numbered RK01, while my unit is labeled RKV1. This could partially explain the deviations in the specifications, but sadly I wouldn't know, as Daewoo Technologies' terrible support was unable to answer my emails. The current packaging of the Ragnarok presents the item as a mere vertical mouse, and doesn't mention the gun grip resemblance anywhere. I assume this might still be caused by the anti-gun regulations wave, which spawned from the Hong Kong conflict in 2019. In contrast, the original box prided itself to carry the world's first gun mouse and opened a flap to reveal artwork of a Desert Eagle pistol. This is the end of the review. My name is Ben. I thank you for viewing.